You see, these aeroplanes on 9-11 may have appeared to come out of a clear blue sky. But in fact, these monstrous mosquitoes flew out of a swamp of bitterness and hatred and enmity which exists against us. The greatest recruiter, the greatest creator of this hatred and enmity and bitterness are the leaders of Great Britain and the United States. It's a lie to say so. It's a masochistic lie. And it, and, it, and it excuses those who are the real criminals and it blames us. Do you really think that if America pulled all of its bases out of Saudi Arabia, um, we did. fulfilled, we did. It, fulfilled we, all the conditions that Al-Qaeda has said in the past it wanted, that suddenly you'd see no more Al-Qaeda attacks around I, the I'm world? The last, I, I'm that. not advocating negotiating with bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. I want you to negotiate. Why not? With, I want you to negotiate with the Muslims who haven't joined them yet. Um, Mr. Galloway trades a better set of manners when he's in Los Angeles from the one that he exhibits when he's in, say, uh, Syria on state television, when he praises the martyrs and the jihadists and the 150 or so operations they conduct every day in Iraq. He goes there to stir it up, and then he comes here to tell us, watch out, they're being nasty. That's, I think, disgraceful. Well, that's what Arafat needs and then to if, do. It seems to me that... Talk about Al-Qaeda, talk about... We're not going to talk about him as if he's our fault, Mr. Galloway, however slimily you put Our? It. Are you in the United States, We're not going to blame him. For, we're not going to blame ourselves for... I love it when the British fight. It's... But it's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, there's nothing British There's about. only one better fight, and that's a chick There's fight. I think British we about, all know that. nothing British about Mr. Galloway. He's a fifth column run from the Middle East uh, in British politics. In 1988, when the United States was barely a country, right. uh, it was having its um, sailors taken as slaves by the Barbary states, the states of the Ottoman Empire in North Africa. Tripoli. Tripoli. The shores exactly. of Tripoli. The shores of Tripoli. And its people, uh, his, his, his ships uh, stopped. Um, its Crews carried off into slavery. We right. estimate one and a half million European and American slaves taken between 1750 and 1815. Jefferson and Adams went to their ambassador in London and said, why do you do this to us? The United States has never had a quarrel with the Muslim world of any kind. We weren't in the Crusades. We weren't in the war in Spain. Why do you do this to our people and our ships? Why do you plunder and enslave our people? And the ambassador said very plainly, Mr. Abdul Rahman said, because the Quran gives us permission to do so, because you are infidels. And that's our answer. And Jefferson said, well, in that case, I will send a navy which will crush your state, which he did. And a good thing, but too. 